Hi everyone. I'm sure you're all getting busy for Easter. If you celebrate Easter, probably cooking or baking or dipping eggs or if you do Easter eggs or what if you did when you had kids or if you do your grandkids, do you do anything special with them? Like you just eat them because they're hard, hard boiled eggs. Um we used to play these two games when I grew up. One was where you um you roll the eggs. What do you do when you roll the eggs? I don't remember now. Roll the eggs and see which one goes faster. I don't know. That I don't know. There were two things we did with rolling eggs, so I don't know what the first one was. Because wouldn't like eggs you could tell if an egg is hard boiled or not done like boiled or not boiled by the way it turn like you just turn it like you put it down and you just turn it around i don't know if i explain myself right but anyhow i don't know maybe hard boiled eggs one goes quicker than another i don't know but another thing we did like we would one be at each end and like hit each other's egg and you keep doing it and the last one the winner is the one whose egg is less smashed and then, of course, you eat the eggs when, you know, when you're done. And then another thing is you hit, you each take an egg and you hit one side with it. And you see the one whose side doesn't break is the winner. And again, you eat the egg. Um, also painting eggs. Um, my nationality, we do it in um, onion skins. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So what you're supposed to do, which I never remember, is save your onion skins all year round, which I never remember. Um, and then you take them and you, I think you boil the onion. We haven't done it in forever. You boil the onion skins in the water. And um, I don't know, then I think you turn to a simmer maybe. I don't, I don't remember exactly but you make the water brown and then you put the eggs in there and you boil you know you boil no i think you boil the eggs ahead of time yeah you boil the eggs ahead of time you boil the skins and maybe you simmer them i don't know to make them whatever color boy i haven't done it in a long time then you put the eggs in there some you can take out earlier some you can take out later you can wrap string around it or rubber bands and it will have like a decoration but what we used to do is we would, you know, make this in the skins all different, you know, take them out different levels of color, just as you do with those, you know, those little tablets where you put either vinegar or water in them. And then um, what we used to do, we would take like a little straight pin. I think they're called when you sew. I haven't sewed since I was a teenager. Those pins, like when you pin material together or something, I really don't remember about sewing. I couldn't stand it. But anyhow, you take one of those pins and you draw a decoration. Oh, I used to love doing that. I had the most beautiful eggs. I did it with my first set of kids, but we haven't done it with the second set for some reason. I was going to do a video about all different kinds of ways to do eggs. But I have just been struggling so much with this heat. And now it's over three weeks with, I have the chills almost constantly. I'd say three quarters of the day. Mostly, um... When I'm in my bed, <laughs> struggling to try to sleep. But I'd say 75% um, is when I'm in my bed. And another 25% is when I'm awake. Well, I'm always awake. I sleep an hour or two if I'm lucky. But I guess laying down 75% and 25% when I'm sitting. So um, between the chills and burning up... Um, uh, we didn't get to the egg thing. I still may do it if we do it on Easter and then put up. So I won't tell you the different ways. If I, we don't do it, I'll tell you the different ways. But um, it's very interesting to do eggs um, different ways. Oh, yeah, also the ones we do, you can also wrap them in, um, in like, um, I think it's called cheesecloth or a handkerchief or anything. And you can put eggs, eggs, yeah, right. <laughs> we do put the eggs in there. You have the egg and you put some rice in there and then you cover it with a 
like a cheesecloth handkerchief, whatever, and then tie it at the end. And then it has the little decorations from the um, rice. Or also you could put like a leaf in there or um, even wrap, wrap it up, put some onion skins on there and wrap it up. You can do all kinds of things. I wish I would have done it this year, but like I said, I didn't save my onion skins. They're really pretty. Maybe sometime during the year, if I remember, I'll do them. But that way, I think, is the healthiest way because, you know, you're eating onion that you've, you know, done them in onion. So, um, you know, these colors are all artificial and there's other ways that why wouldn't we wouldn't eat them. Um, we just like did a couple as just something fun because the outside is something that's unedible. Is that how you say unedible, not edible? I don't know. Anyhow, this is my egg story. I was so prepared to do of it. My gosh, between trying to get, um, we didn't get a ham. I don't know if his father's going to get one. Polly, I'm sure, would appreciate one. But when I went looking, there was so much money. There's no way. So, um, I don't know. I'll tell you our, our, what we're going to eat after after Easter because I'm not even sure. I'm literally burning up. My head hurts so bad from my my burning. My, I've been having terrible headaches. It's just a mess. So I'm trying to just figure what I could do for Polly. We had seen a, a recipe for a, a no-bake pie, which looks so good. And I actually have the ingredients. One I had ordered for my last Insta. I call now Insta ripoff. Man, the prices are really out, getting out of control on there. So I don't know if I'm going to make it. I really want to make it for him. But. I'm sure he'll be okay if, you know, I make it another time, but I really want to make it. it sounds delicious. If not, we'll have our, you know, I'll make the banana cream pie. That's easy pie to do. Of course, I shouldn't say that because the way I'm burning today, I don't know. But anyhow, so yeah, that's what we do. Do you do anything with your eggs different or uh, do you not? Like when you had kids or with your grandkids, do you even do the eggs? Or is there something else you do? I know in some nationalities, I want to say Polish, I think they, um, like, put a hole in the egg and, um, I think you put a hole at each end and then blow out the inside of the egg and obviously keep it for, you know, to make a, a huge omelet or scrambled eggs or whatever. But I remember my uncle doing that. We tried to do eggs like that. And, but he, what he did, he would suck it out and eat it. It was, oh, disgusting, a raw egg. <laughs> but he loved his food, any kind of food. And then you uh, dry it out. You don't put water inside, but you, you, you wipe off the outside very carefully because once inside out, it's very fragile. So you wipe it with a, like a piece of paper towel with water, and then you just dry it, and then you can, um you can do, you know, I don't know, you have to cover the holes with tape, maybe, I would think, because I remember we did it in the um, onion skins, and then uh, decorating on it with that straight pen is very hard once it's not solid, but I think it's the Polish people do, I can't remember what nationality, but the most beautiful eggs they make, oh my gosh, but yeah, if you have any kind of beautiful eggs you do, or any kind of traditional things, comment below. Otherwise, you know, we're just getting along through life here, you know. I feel bad for Polly because I'm trying to make it special for him. I got him these two things. Um, I'll show you later that I thought we could do outside, but I guess it's going to be real bad weather. It's been bad. It's been raining. I think it's going to be real bad on Easter. So, oh well, what are you going to do, right? Um, and then ideas to things since he can't have chocolate anymore. And um, it's all on me to figure, you know, and not being able to go to the store. Because, you know, doing the Instacart thing, I can, you know, look. But a lot of things they don't put up on Instacart. I think they just want to leave those for the people that go to the store. Like the Instacart people who get charged so much more money. You don't have it because one day I was able to stop at the store. This one thing I've been looking for for him, it's not chocolate. 
um, they had it. They had a whole bunch. So, um, I, a lot of things I just don't put up, like those puddings, those snack pack, because the one shopper I have, she always says, oh, do you want it? So they don't even list it as an item they have. I don't know why. But anyhow, how'd I get over there? I don't know. But yeah, Polly told me last night, so that was Friday night, it's Saturday now. He said, um, he was asking his father, he said, if he's going to the grocery store, um, I think like on Saturday or something, he was here on Friday. Oh, awfully, unfortunately, he was here. Um, and Polly asked him if he was going to the store. He wanted to know if he could get on something, and he gave him his, Polly gave his father, he was going to give his father some money he had saved. And he says, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go because, you know, I'm busy. And, uh, yeah, he's taking our daughter out on a shopping spree yet again, go out to lunch yet again, um, and whatever other things they do together yet again. Yes, I'm very angry about that because uh, once Polly told me, it broke my heart. He said, you know, Mommy, when I when I asked Daddy about if he was going to the grocery store and I was going to give him money to get me something, I had thought he was going to say this pizza. He likes this stuffed crust personal pizza. I think he's had it only once. Um, so I thought that's what he was going to say and say, you know, that's what he was going to have for Easter and not to worry about the ham because... He probably knew because, you know, I try to make ham for him. But he said, I wanted to get you a flower. And it just broke my heart. Broke my heart. I just, I mean, tears were rolling down my eyes and he came over and hugged me. He said, it's okay, Mommy. I says, it's just, Polly, you're so nice. You don't have to spend your money on me. He says, yes, but you love flowers and you should have a flower. Because usually on, at Easter, my mom would buy me these miniature roses. And um, I don't know. I probably mentioned. I think he saw when um, um, I was going to the store. I don't know where his father was bringing us. Oh, the pharmacy. Oh, my God. Did I have to beg for that? For us to the pharmacy, I had to go to the bank. That's right. I had to go to the bank to get money. Because God forbid if he'd give me money for his son's medicine. And the bank was closed. It said it closed for an hour for lunch. They've never been closed. So as I was walking into the bank, which is in the store, I was looking at a, a, a thing of flowers, you know, like the flowers you plant in the spring. Well, not here yet because it's going to snow next week um, again. But um, I think Polly noticed from the car I was looking at the flowers. Well, I didn't talk about them or anything, but... Uh, as I was walking, and I just, you know, kind of leaned over and looked at them. They were outside. But anyhow, yeah, so I felt really bad. And um, <laughs> I'm not even going to start on his father. You know, he ruined Good Friday. That was the day I think he took me to the bank. Ruined that day, and then we got Holy Saturday, and then, of course, Easter. And I don't want him to take the light and the shine out of this holiest of holy weeks in the church which there is no church but you know <laughs> whatever I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm just burning up I can't believe it I'm literally wiping myself down with cold cloths all the time 24 7 it is unbelievable I'm getting worse whatever is wrong with me I'm getting worse oh it's terrible so anyhow let me know about your Easter. I think I asked that question before, but nobody answered. Someone did said they're what they're yeah they're going somewhere, so they weren't they're not making anything. But yeah, let me know. And um, I have regular people who I know post, and I haven't heard from Colleen in ages. So if you're out there, Colleen, say something so I know you're okay. I worry. I know some people pop in and say hi and. You know, at least once in a while. But Colleen, I haven't heard from. I don't remember the last time. But let me know about your Easter plans and if you make anything special, if any traditions or stuff like that. So for now, um, Polly and I wish you a very happy Easter. Hope you enjoy. If you have family over, you're going over to family. Make new memories. Eat a lot of food. 
you never know when you can't eat it. <laughs> and let me know if you have any kind of traditions or if you do eggs with your kids or grandkids. And um, I'll let you know after Easter because right now I, I can't plan anything anymore. I'm just too hot. But um, don't forget to subscribe, like. If you hit that like button, you know, if, if you don't want to comment, it would really help. Um, I don't want to beg anyone to hit the like button, but it would really help us to grow our channel because I have to figure a way to make some kind of, some kind of money here for Polly and I because eating is almost impossible with the prices. And if my channel would just get enough out there likes and get it out there and then I get more subs and I don't know, I'm probably delirious talking. I don't even know what I said. I am so hot. My lips are hot. But anyhow, um, don't forget to be kind to people. If you don't know what they're going through, be kind to yourself. Stay safe. Um, I had a saying I wanted to say, but I already forgot it. Um, pray for the people across the ocean. I guess the situation is getting pretty dire. Pray for the people that worry about that. Oh, yeah, I'm one of them. But, um, <clears throat> we're living in hard times, you know. They say you can handle so much stress before your body can't take anymore. And we all have pretty much a lot of the same stressors, you know, climate change and the thing that's going across the ocean and the, the you know, the disease that's going around our area. They said it's the worst in the state where we live. And I think the worst in our country. I don't know. This new variant. They're giving a lot of warnings about it and everything. But, oh, yeah, I went to the one grocery store um, because the bank was in. I was the only one wearing a mask. I cannot believe these people. It's all over the, um, like I said, I don't watch the news, but I I get to hear the um, end of the, uh, it's called The Weather. And, you know, on YouTube, there's always, you can stream it, but... um. Saying how bad it is, but no, no mask mandates. No, and people are coughing and coughing and hacking up, and who knows what they have. And yeah, of course, it is allergy time, but still, you never know. And they said this could feel like allergies, it could feel like a cold. I don't know, I'm not even going to go there. But I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. Like I said, make new memories, and I'll let you know what we did because right now, I just feel like I'm not even, I can't say laying in bed because. Laying in bed is horrifying to me. It's like the worst place for me, but I just have no energy at all to do anything. I, I really don't, and it's very frustrating. So I'm trying to think of something for Polly since he can't have chocolate. Um, I have some great ideas, but will the body cooperate with the mind? I don't know. I'm just so drained. But anyhow, we'll have a nice Easter. I always make sure we do, and... If I if I was able to buy a car that worked, I would bring him to the store so he could get the flowers because I know it really bothers him that he can't. But um, I had bought a few packs. Ironically, I had bought a few packs of seeds, which before I knew about the flowers, I thought, you know, I'm still going to try. So I bought, I wanted dills. I love dills. But I bought, I don't remember what I bought, but it's something under the ground. Oh, I think carrots. And radishes. So I thought I'm going to try the underground gardening. Even in a bucket. I have this container. It's like a, a tote. So maybe the animals will, won't get in there. I'm going to put some kind of mesh. Or I don't know. I'm going to figure something. Oh, I, I think I already know what I can do. But anyhow, that's all for now. I don't know. I'm just, I literally feel delirious from burning up. And the chills on top of it. So for now... Have a great day tomorrow, and I hope you're not working too hard if you're, if you're hosting the holiday. So for now, thanks for stopping by, and um, if you made it to the end, the word of the day is flowers. Bye for now. <laughs>